Hi everybody, welcome back to Be Creative Studio. Today I'm excited to share with you some fun Dollar Tree sign makeovers. Spring is just around the corner, so let's get started. The first makeover is this gift sign from the wedding section. I try to sand the surface and apply a couple of coats of chalk paint, but the word is still visible. So I use this gray buffalo check burlap ribbon I have on hand to cover the sign. Then I use some Dollar Tree letters and paint two shades of green. Using the leftover pom-poms from this pom-pom kit as the O and one of the Dollar Tree carrots as an I, I spell out hop to it. I decide to outline the sign with this black and white 1 8 of an inch ribbon and decoupage some carrots from napkins from Target Dollar Spot onto the legs. Dollar Tree really hit it out of the park this season with their signs. Exhibit A is this welcome bunny sign. It's pretty cute as is, but I decide to give it a personal touch. First, I remove the bunny tails, which I will reattach later. Then, I use a piece of freezer paper to trace the bunny and make a template. Place the shiny side down and use the dull side for tracing. I want to mention West Coast Wool on YouTube on her tutorial on using freezer paper to make a pattern. I cut out the bunny a little bigger than my outline because I want my fabric bunny to cover the sign bunny completely. Now place the template dull side up, shiny side down on the fabric. Iron the template onto the fabric. Cut out the template and peel off the freezer paper. You can reuse the same template to cut out all four bunnies. Before I glue down my gingham bunnies, I paint the sign with white chalk paint, just the bunny part. To embellish, I make four different colored gingham bows. I cut the width of the ribbons in half to make mini bows.
Next up is a reversible sign with two looks. I love how colorful and happy this sign is. To give it a little makeover, I glue on some burlap strands for the basket, flower petals, and a butterfly to give it a 3D effect. These gorgeous paper roses from Michaels are perfect here. Next, I turn the home sweet home sign over and make this beautiful chalkboard caddy. I prep the back by painting it white and then glue on a piece of Dollar Tree's yellow wrapping paper with white polka dots. Then I decoupage a Dollar Tree slat crate with a beautiful violet napkin from a very sweet friend. Use only the topmost layer of the napkin to decoupage. I use a nail file to separate the napkin between slats and then glue down any excess. To make the chalkboard, I paint a decorative wood piece with some chalkboard paint. Both items are from the Dollar Tree. While the chalkboard is drying, I apply a coat of protective finish to my crate and line the edge of the sign with this thin ribbon. I also attach the crate to the sign with some wood glue and hot glue. Now we're ready to season the chalkboard by covering the surface vertically and horizontally with chalk. Then wipe the board clean with a cloth. You can use this as a memo board or a decoration. 
I write the word spring with my bistro chalk marker and attach the chalkboard with wood glue and hot glue. I also add a bow and a paper rose to embellish. I then add some tulips and Spanish moss to my caddy. I am ready for spring. The last reversible sign is this carrot sign from the Dollar Tree. This sign is pretty cute as is, but I decide to give it a little makeover. Remember the farmhouse calendar from last fall? I am using this honey page with the bee which fits pretty well on the back of the carrot sign. I use a glue stick to attach the calendar page and seal it with some Mod Podge. For the handle portion of the sign, I am using this piece of Buffalo Check scrap fabric. I did some shading using oil pastels to give the sign and the bee some dimension. Once everything has dried, I glaze it with some triple thick and let it dry. I then add some burlap strands and a gingham ribbon bow to finish the look. To make over the carrot sign, I use some oil pastel sticks to do some shading and distressing. I hot glue some Dollar Tree carrots and a bow to the sign. Next, I glue some burlap pieces to add to the farmhouse feel. Then I add some burlap strands and a paper rose to add to the rustic look. Well, there you have it, some Dollar Tree sign makeovers to get you ready for spring. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.